Holy Land Christian Ecumenical Foundation is proud to announce the opening of the Bethlehem Museum. 30 years after the initial idea was proposed by the Arab Women's Union, HCEF have made this dream a reality. The Bethlehem Museum is dedicated to fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation for the role Palestinian Christians play in preserving Palestine's heritage, identity and culture. The museum will introduce all who visit Bethlehem, not only to the historical treasures of Palestine, but more importantly, to the lifeblood of Christianity in the Holy Land, its people. They are the living stones, Palestinians who have kept the faith alive for thousands of years. The museum honors them by recognizing and showcasing their many contributions to the Holy Land's faith, traditions, art, and culture, while also building community. It also houses artefacts dating from the Canaanite and Roman periods, contributed by the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. Amongst the collection is a Canaanite jar, the oldest artefact at 3,800 years old, and glass from the Roman and Byzantine periods. One of the most important artefacts on display is a Bible, the oldest owned by Bethlehemite families and originally printed in 1875 by Dominican fathers in Mosul, Iraq. The museum also features examples of mother-of-pearl artistry from the collections of Michael Friedsch and Hanania families. First introduced as a craft in Palestine by Franciscan monks in the late 16th century, and having flourished in the Bethlehem area particularly, this traditional handicraft is a source of strong Palestinian national and artistic pride. The museum also features the olivewood collection of the Zachariah family. As pioneers of the craft in their original home of Ein Karam, Jerusalem, the family brought their trade to Bethlehem following their expulsion from their home during the 1948 Nakba. Here, as the first craftsmen of their kind, they passed their knowledge on to Bethlehemites and today, olivewood carving is one of the most quintessential Palestinian crafts. Within the collection is the oldest example of Palestinian olivewood carving, standing testament to the continuous presence of Palestinian Christians in the Holy Land. The Living Stones exhibit devotes space to the cultural and social life of Bethlehemites in the 19th century, particularly through the use of original photographs from the period. Also present is stonework from the collections of Akram Anastas, the Arab Women's Union, the Hush family and HCEF, documenting the existence of Christians in Palestine for many generations. The museum also houses the most important collection of Palestinian embroidery, gathered from the diaspora and brought home to Palestine with the generous help and support of Hanan and Farah Munayir. The Munayir collection includes traditional costumes and styles of various regions of Palestine, and the support of such a collection played a central role in securing further contributions for the success of the museum. The museum's priceless treasures is the Roman aqueduct, which lies beneath the museum. Among the most significant archaeological sites in Bethlehem, the aqueduct from the Roman era is preserved and on display throughout the museum. We are proud to display an artifact of such historical importance for Palestine and its ancient cities. One modern piece is that of a cross of two parts. The outside cross is crafted from olive wood, a symbol of peace. The inside is cut from the separation wall, which divides the Holy Land. This is to represent the suffering inflicted by the wall on all people of the Holy Land. With Bethlehem surrounded by the wall, this piece serves to represent the cross the Palestinians bear every day, and the fact that all are crucified by it. The 
Palestinian Surprises exhibit is one you won't find anywhere else in Palestine. This unique exhibit highlights the achievement of Palestinians from all walks of life and their contribution to the respective countries they live in around the world. Palestinian Surprises is a project of Know Thy Heritage Leadership Program, which empowers youth in the diaspora. And this section honors the great Saeed Houri, who dedicated his life to Palestine. Bethlehem Museum also presents an art gallery to support budding artists, offering a place for them to showcase their work. The museum also actively works to preserve authentic Palestinian cuisine through Al Kama restaurant, providing economic opportunity in the process. The museum also houses a small gift shop through which we are proud to support local traditional artisans and charities like Man Lil Hayat Lash Bethlehem and Al Malath Charitable Society, which support people with intellectual and physical disabilities, as well as the Silesian Artistic Centre of Bethlehem. The Bethlehem Museum is one of HCEF's greatest accomplishments because it embodies so many of the values and goals we stand for. We hope that after your visit, you leave the museum with a greater understanding of Palestine's rich history, a greater appreciation of the Palestinian people's culture, and the satisfaction of knowing your visit is supporting a vibrant community that has valiantly withstood the sands of time.